Welcome everyone to this video on while loops and user input. Okay, so before we get started, we are going to do a small review. Um, the while loop review. Uh, if you remember before, the syntax for a while loop is actually quite similar to that of an if statement. So instead of using the word if, we're simply using the word while. So to get started, I'm going to create a variable named num. I'm going to give it a value of 5. And then I'm going to create the syntax for my while loop. In other words, I'm going to say while num is less than 10. I have brackets here. In Python, you can use brackets. You cannot use brackets. Either one is acceptable. And I'm going to have my colon to say that my while loop body is beginning. And anything I'm going to write inside of it will be indented. Uh, please remember that this condition will continue to run. My loop will come back to it every single time it completes. And will run again unless this condition becomes false. So in order to get to a point at which it is false, I'm going to add something that will increment until my condition is false. So in other words, I'm going to one <coughs> add one add one to num. And this is going to uh, make it so that it, this will not go infinitely. Then I'm going to print out num in this case so that people are able to see that the number is going to increase from 5 until 1 before 10 since the loop will not run when it is 10 since 10 is not less than 10. So what we're going to look at instead now is how can we use loops with other types than integers such as strings or in this case we want to use user input which in Python is always taken as a string. So what we're going to do is the same thing we did before. We're going to start with a variable, in this case name. I'm going to grab from user input. I'm going to ask the user to give me a name that is at least five letters long. This means what I'm going to do with my while loop is I'm going to ensure that the value they've given me is at least five letters long. If it's not, I want to ask them again after giving them an error message. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop. And in this while loop, we're going to create a condition that is the length of the name is less than 5. And the reason for that is we want our condition to be the opposite of what we want from the user. In other words, we want to make the condition encapsulate everything that will be incorrect, meaning that we want to ask them for input again. Okay. So this means that the body will run when the user inputs something that is less than five characters rather than five or more because that would be an acceptable input. Okay, if they get if I get this, this means that I want to run it again. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to alert the user that they've given me an invalid input by doing a print statement that tells them that. Then I am going to ask for input again. So in other words, I'm going to replace the value I had before in name with a new value from user input. So I'm going to ask them again to insert a name as at least five letters long. Now this is the end of our loop. What's going to happen here is it's going to go back and check again. So if the user on this next time I've asked for user input gives me something that is five characters or more, my condition will now be false, which means that I will skip my entire code body here and go on with the rest of my code. If they give me something that has less than five characters, I will once again check that in my condition, and if that's true, that means I'm going to tell them again that it was an invalid input. And I'm going to once again ask them to insert a name that has at least five characters. Outside of my loop, I'm going to put something that I want if they have given me a valid input. So in this case, I'm just going to go on to my second question instead. So for the second part here, what I'm going to do is we are going to have a program that asks the user for a word and they are attempting to guess the word that we have thought of. So the word I've chosen is bacon and therefore in the condition I'm going to make my condition name does not equal bacon. The reason for this is because I want to ensure that no matter what if they give me anything besides bacon I'm going to run what is inside my while loop. In other words I'm going to ask them again for input because they were incorrect. If they give me bacon, I do not want to ask them again since they were correct. So, please make sure that this condition, when you are checking user input, is always the opposite of what you are attempting to get from the user. You want it to encapsulate invalid input 
not valid input. So inside, I'm once again going to say uh, is incorrect. I'm going to ask them to please try again. And that's going to be in the input statement that I ask from them. Instead of last time where I had two statements, this time I'm just going to make it one. Please make sure that the error message is always inside the while loop and not outside the while loop. If it is outside the while loop, this means that it will not be run every single time they give an invalid input. Outside of the loop, we are going to put uh, our output statement for what happens if they correctly guess. So I'm going to say I'm uh, printing a statement that says, congratulations, you got the bacon. In other words, you guessed the word bacon. Okay, 